Would you like to know what is cloud architecture? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm a cloud architect, network architect, enterprise architect with a little over 25 years experience. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about what is cloud architecture? And cloud architecture is a very misconfused uh, topic, so we're gonna make sure that it's clear to you by the end of this video. To begin, a cloud architecture is really a blueprint for where we can design a environment to help our clients meet their goals. Now that blueprint will include the way people do their jobs, uh, the work processes in particular cases. It will include the way the app, the employees may do their job. It will include the way the employees actually access the systems. It will include the systems that the employees actually need to touch and the customers need to touch. And it will identify all the underlying technology needed to help that business achieve its goals. Now, when we deal with an architecture, it's not an engineering environment. Architecture is about strategic alignment of that organization's people, their processes, and technology. And why do we need that strategic alignment? I want you to understand uh, the environment of the architecture. So if our goal is to help a hospital, uh, for example, uh, have patients that leave the hospital better and faster and at a lower cost, let's say that's our goal. So if we were to help that hospital do that, we would need to know a few things. We would need to know how patients enter the hospital, for example. We would need to know how patients are treated at the hospital. We would need to know uh, where the holdups are the patient in the hospital, things that take extra time along the way that may slow the process from taking the patient in, healing them, and getting out. Now, if we didn't understand that process and we didn't understand how the people did their jobs, we'd have no idea how to design the technology. So the beginning of the cloud architecture is about figuring out how people do their jobs and where their pain points are. And then it's working with that organization to find the best way for people to do their jobs. And then it's designing that technology infrastructure to make that happen. So it's a people process technology play. And that's why cloud architects are executives. They're not engineers. It's a very different role. Cloud architects focus on planning this and the cloud engineers focus on building the plans that come from the cloud architects, et cetera. So what are the core technology elements of a cloud architecture? Well, they're gonna be the same technology environments you see in every other data center in the world. And I'm gonna go into them what they actually are. And why is that? Uh, a traditional data center is where you buy a building, you fill it with network gear, you fill it with servers, and you run your workloads there. A cloud computing environment is someone who builds the same thing you did and then rents it to you, but they do it on a bigger scale. So these are the domains and the technology systems you will need to have, typically speaking, as part of your cloud architecture. Compute will be the first one. Something is going to have to do the compute uh, or the calculations or running the applications, what have you. And that typically means a virtual machine which is the same kind of virtual machine we have in our data center, but uh, it's just a virtual machine. It could be a container. For example, we use containers in our data center. We use containers in our clouds. It could be what you consider a serverless type function, which is where you upload your code and it runs on a server, but you, the user typically is unaware of the server. And it typically is application virtualization where you can upload your code and it kind of runs on a server segregated from other servers. Those are your fewer types of compute that you'll deal with in all cloud computing. Now, in every data center and every cloud provider, we're going to have to store our information somewhere. Store the information of, for our compute environment, like say virtual hard drives for our virtual machines, uh, backup and archival purposes, which we would typically use object storage for. Uh, we may have to share files with a bunch of systems where we would use file storage. So the storage we will have within every data center and cloud will be object storage, block storage, and file storage. Now, in any data center or a cloud, you have to have a network. And if you don't have a network, you've got nothing that can talk to nothing. So you've got it and you don't have anything. So in any environment, you will have routers, you will have uh, subnets, for example, that you'll have to deal with. You'll have to deal with some load balancing, some DNS, some content delivery networks, firewalls, those kinds of things, switches. So, of course, that will be part of every cloud or, or network architecture and enterprise architecture because we can't do anything without a network. Now, in today's world, every cloud architecture includes some form of an AI architecture. And that could be machine learning, it could be generative AI, it could be agentic AI, we could be focusing on the compute for where this needs to run in a private cloud versus a public cloud. 
but that's going to be a key component of most cloud architectures because they're there to drive digital transformation for our business, which is where we use technology to enhance the way the business does business does things or changes the way the business does things. Now, of course, nothing will work in today's world as part of your architecture that doesn't have security as well. So that means we'll have identity and access management security, but we will also have network security as well. Things like IDS, IPS systems, VPN concentrators, firewalls, uh, those types of things. And of course, uh, compliance will have to address any government or regulatory compliance issues in our architectures. Now, in most cloud architectures, we'll have some form of data or big data. That means it could be anything from relational databases, no SQL databases, data warehouse, uh, streaming data, like AKA Apache Kafka kind of thing. So lots of environments, uh, data lakes that, that we'll deal with here. And all of that will enable all the AI functions we need to use. Now, in most uh, cloud architectures, we'll have some integration uh, to other systems in there, potentially some queues or message brokers, those types of things, APIs. And for the most part in our architecture, we have to plan how the operations people will be able to observe the systems. So that's typically what goes into a cloud architecture. So in the beginning, I talked about all the things that are necessary for the business. We have to understand that, and that has to be part of our architecture. And then this technology architecture that I'm talking about is how you go solve those business problems. So in this video, we covered what is cloud architecture. If you'd like to become a cloud architect, security architect, AI architect, enterprise architect, first, we have uh, complete programs for all of these careers that teach you every skill you need. Uh, you can uh, find out about them at gocloudcareers.com. We also run a free webinar twice per week where we go over the architect role. We talk about what we do. We talk about the skills you need. We talk about how to get hired. These are free webinars on Zoom. We can have a f conversation. You can ask me any question. I'll do anything can on these free webinars to help you build your architect career. So come join some of these free webinars. The link for these webinar free webinars is in the description of this video. While you're in the description of this video, we have so many free resources and guides to help you in your career, guides to win the interview, guides on how to become a cloud architect or enterprise architect. Check them out. Uh, they'll be emailed to you. They're completely free. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, uh, maybe subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your cloud architect career, security architect career, AI architect career, enterprise architect career, or any other architecture career for that matter. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in a free webinar or another video. Take care.